Hello, I'm Javis Lewis, and in this video I'm going to give you a brief overview of Plesk 12. That is the new control panel that we're using here at WP Hosting since the summer of 2014. You will have been given a few login details, a lengthy URL with cryptic numbers in it, and that should take you to this screen. When you get here, log in with the details I've given you. And if you log in for the first time, then Plesk will greet you with something like this. Obviously, your name and your company will be different. Uh, if there's any vital information missing, for example, a phone number, then the control panel will flag that up and you can just amend that. After a quick intro screen, we say, that's great. You can see what Plesk has to offer. Most of what's going on here happens in these tabs at the top here. If you have one domain, it'll be displayed here. If you have more than one domain, all of them will be displayed in a big long list, so you get a quick overview of what's currently happening here for you. If you want to switch between any domains, there'll be a little drop-down menu up here. When you're done with your session, head over to this little tab here and click Lockout. Or if you're not quite happy with the default password that we've set up for you, just head over to Edit Profile and you can amend that there. I'll go through this in more detail in just a second. Let me introduce you to these tabs here. On the top, the first tab here is the Websites and Domains tab, and if this isn't enough information for you, you can always go click Show More. And there's more scary options here. But you know, if they're too scary, just click Show Less, and they'll all go away. Next up is Mail. This lets you create mailboxes, email accounts, email addresses. Uh, you can create proper mailboxes that will store your emails for you, but you can also set up redirects and aliases. We'll go through this in another video. But anything to do with mail, that'll be found on the Mail tab. Applications is something that you can run on your domain. So for example, you can install WordPress with one click here. But if WordPress isn't your thing, you can also try Drupal or Joomla as content management systems. You can also have a look at all the other available applications that you can install with one click. Or if you already have installed applications, just head over to Manage My Applications to tweak them, amend them, or even delete them. Under the Files tab up here, Plesk offers a convenient file manager. This allows you to do all kinds of changes to any of the files that you're currently hosting on your website without having to log in via FTP. So the HTTP docs directory, that's the one that hosts all your web files. This will be mapped to your main domain, and if you have additional domains, then usually you have other directories here, out of which the second and third and fourth domains will come out. Clicking on a file, it'll display what's currently in it, and if you fancy a quick edit, just head over to the text editor or even the HTML editor, make your edits, and then save the file. File Manager is convenient, so I'll go into this in another video, because it kind of replaces your classic FTP client and it makes life so much easier to work with anything that's currently stored on the server. Head over to Statistics and get an overview of what you're currently using. So my customer here, Cave Johnson, it's a fictitious customer by the way, <laughs> he is a new customer so he hasn't used up any disk space, but you could use up to 10 gig, it looks like, and this is the amount of traffic that he's been using so far. You can get other statistics if you click on these tabs on the bottom here. Under Users, you can see that currently we only have Cave Johnson, so that is likely your first impression. But if you were to set up email accounts for your customers and you need other people to be able to change their passwords, then they can log in at the same URL with the credentials that you provide for them. So we'll go into that in the email video. But if you have other accounts set up, then they will be shown here. And lastly, under the Account tab, you can do all kinds of fancy things. Not only do you get to see a bit of an overview of how many domains and mailboxes you've currently got installed and find out more about your resource limits here, you also have the option to go to your profile under Contact Details. You can update you know, who you are, where you live, in case you've moved. Or under General, you can update your password to log into this control panel. Going back to my account, from here you also have the option to back up all your websites, and I'm going to go into that in detail in another video. One really cool feature about the control panel is the search function up here. 
doesn't look like much and you may suspect it's just an ordinary search window, but it is a context sensitive search much like we find in Windows 8 and on Mac Mail, the spotlight search. So if you know what you're looking for, but you don't know which tab it's hiding under, just type it in. So for example, back up. And after a second, you have all the options that panel finds that are related to your subscription. Likewise, if you have set things up, for example, an email account and you're not quite sure uh, where that's hiding, you can just go uh, something about mail. No, actually, it wasn't that, even though lots of options come up. If you think, well, I've set up an email account on a particular domain and I don't remember that. Let's try domain. Uh, there we go. Domain.com, cave at domain.com. Perhaps that's what I was looking for. Uh, just head over there and you go straight to the relevant option, ready to edit it. Very handy feature, very useful. That was it. I hope you liked Plus 12. If you have any questions, please let me know. And don't forget to watch all the other videos in this series.